Well, thanks for joining me again there, Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure fans and collectors. Um, this is another Star Wars The Vintage Collection, 2011 Vintage Collection figure review. And this time I'm going to be doing the um, Vintage Collection Attack the Clones Django Fett. So, I'm grabbing this card here because I want to actually talk about that first uh, because I thought the card was really cool um, I of course have the previous release of this Django Fett figure or a figure similar to this Django Fett in the Geonosis 2009 Geonosis Battle pa Battle 2 packs which was just a repack of the original release which was the Evolutions, the Fett Evolutions pack um, but I bought this figure because it had a couple more bells and whistles, and I also like the lighter, more bluish purple color on his flight suit. Uh, I thought that was a little bit more movie accurate. Um, and I wanted another Django Fett, uh, and, you know, this one didn't float my boat. I could always make a custom out of it. But anyhow, I want to give you a, a good uh, close-up of the back of the card really quick. This is Vintage Collection figure number 34. There's the regular Celebrate the Legendary Star Wars Saga line. There's the original first release of Jango Fett in his infamous sneak preview packaging. I believe that's the Power of the Jedi packaging there. Really cool shot of Jango there. I never got that figure. Other figures in the line, Padme, SBD, Senate Guard, good luck to me for finding him. He looks absolutely fantastic. Mace Windu, probably pick him up. And if you've been watching my videos, uh, uh, my video, my channel, you will know that I already have the Obi-Wan Kenobi. So one more time, real quick, a look here. I really like the card art. Uh... I think it's awesome. I really like the picture of Django, and I wish that when I had opened it, it would not have ripped there, but it uh, doesn't always open the way you want it to. I love the Attack of the Clones logo, the Star Wars Attack of the Clones logo. So there you have it. There's the card. So let's get on to the figure. Now, I did a couple of things. Some of you may be disappointed in this review because I, I'm not a purist with my figures in any way. I'm a customizer, and so I change things um, that I don't like. Uh, I, I don't sit around and you know just say, ah, well, you know, they didn't do it the way that I wanted. I'll wait for next time. No, I try to make my figures the way that I want them. So the first thing that I did with this figure here is, and by the way, you'll see a couple of his accessories are missing. For instance, he had the apartment-style Django Fett. Um, poncho and I took that off I gave that to another figure it was actually a bit nicer poncho than the previous release of the um, the uh, apartment style or apartment outfit Django it was a little bit more um, softer and didn't fray or in all that stuff however one of the first things that I did is I want my Django Fett to be able to um, aim his blaster straight ahead. So I trimmed a little bit of the plastic in here because this plastic here on right in there was getting in the way. And I just kind of trimmed it away, shaved it away with an X-Acto knife um, so that he can actually bring his arms further in like that. And he can actually hold his two blasters together like that before I had done that. Um, he was like this, and that really just irritated me, so I had to fix it. The other thing that I did was that this figure came with the, um, the gauntlet blades that Django uses to stop his descent on the side of the Kaminoan uh, building when he's fighting Obi-Wan. And while I thought that was a neat idea to include that in with the figure, there was a couple of things wrong with it. And the first thing was, they were positioned on the wrong part of the gauntlet. If you remember, or if you don't know, those blades came out about where that slot is right there, somewhere in here. And he kind of just dug down and went like that and stopped his descent. However, on this figure, they put them there. And as you can see, I've cut them off because they... 
almost ruined, not almost, they ruined the figure for me, so I cut them off. Uh, and I plan on doing a little bit better job of taking the rest of that little bit of plastic there off, sanding it down and, and repainting it so that he doesn't have it. Like I said, it was a cool idea to include that, but I think a, a better way to have done it would have been to put a peg hole in there and a post on the blade so that you could plug them in and then remove them. But that, they didn't do that, so I cut them off of both sides. And that was another thing that bothered me is that they did put it in, put it in on both sides. So I just I just shaved them right off. Yeah. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get on to this figure's articulation. If you have a Fed Evolutions figure or a Genosis two-pack Django Fett figure, you will know that he has all of the same articulation, and that is a ball-jointed head with removable helmet same head sculpt the scars aren't painted he has ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows with the extra articulation in here so that his little hoses can move he does have uh, articulation in the forearm but nothing in the wrist same thing on this arm he has a ball I believe it's a ball yeah it's a ball jointed chest swivel hips ball hinged knee and ball hinge ankle. So very good articulation. Would have been awesome since this is a vintage figure if they had thrown the ball hinged uh, hips on this Django Fett so he really could have gotten crazy with the with the articulation but they didn't do that so maybe next time around. The last thing I want to talk about is the backpack. They include the, the rocket firing backpack that Django uses uh, to try to take Obi-Wan Kenobi out when they are trying to escape on the Slave One, him and Boba Fett. Um, it's a neat looking backpack. I really like it. It's one of the main sellers for me. And, uh, you know, one of the main reasons why I bought this figure for the backpack because, as you know, the other releases of Django Fett came with the non rocket firing. It didn't come with this, it came with the small nub right there. And what's cool about this ro this backpack is the rocket has um, thrust, basically a sculpted thrust thing on it, and it plugs in and locks in there pretty well. As you can see, I'm holding it here and he's not falling out. And then you can just kind of simulate that whole battle with Obi-Wan. So that's that. Um, he, of course, has his West Stars, good... good uh, uh, weapons um, holsters and all of that nice nice figure perfect Django Fett not quite but um, like I said maybe next time around they give him the bull jointed hips and finish him out so on next until next time um, may the force be with you and uh, you know I'll see ya bye bye